Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm working on a microwave. Uh, the customer complains that it's not heating food and there's also a burning smell, like an electrical burning smell when it's being used. There's a model number for anybody interested. I've already got the case off of it. I've got uh, the unit unplugged. And the first thing that I wanted to look at, or the first things I was suspicious about were either the Magnetron or the Transformer. Okay, this machine, uh, it did run at four and a half amps from right here uh, while it was running. Okay, and uh, I checked continuity on the Magnetron. I got like half an ohm. I took it out and looked at it. I didn't see any physical defects or anything. Um, you've probably heard that you want to discharge this capacitor. You can do so by taking a needle nose pliers like this. And touching the two terminals on each side together with an insulated pliers like this. Be very careful. It can be dangerous. I disconnected all of the wires um, on this transformer here to test it. Now, you've got your, your incoming primary winding here, which these two wires normally connect to. You've got your secondary winding, which is this connector here. And then from that, you've got this that goes to one side of the capacitor, this wire, and then this wire that goes to the other side of the capacitor. Got those disconnected and out of the way. For those that are curious, here's a wiring diagram. Okay. Um, this diode has already been replaced which is right there. That's already been replaced by the customer. So we know that's in good shape. Here's the primary side of the transformer. And normally people would think, okay, this must be the secondary side, but that's actually not the case, which is pretty confusing. Um, that's this third wire. That's this, I wouldn't call it a third wire, but it's just a single wire that uh, goes to the capacitor there. And we know that because here it goes, right to this HP high voltage capacitor. Okay, so that's not our secondary winding. Our secondary winding is actually over here, which connects here and here to the magnetron. And that's this connector right here, which normally connects to the magnetron right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here to um, some testing information and it says, during your at your primary winding, you should have two point two to point four ohms. Well, I got point four ohms, so the primary winding is good. But I've got the leads on the secondary winding. We should have eighty to one hundred ohms. Okay, I've got my leads in there, and I've got point two ohms. So that tells me right there that this transformer is shot. All right. Um, I hope that answers some of your questions. I know this can be a little bit a bit confusing. Um, if you have any questions, please, um, you know, put a, a comment down below. I did test the uh, the capacitor. The capacitor is good, and so I also looked out. I also took took out this magnetron. If anybody's curious, and uh, physically looked at it, didn't see any physical defects. So that is my conclusion. Changing that out should fix this problem in this situation. Thanks.